What's up, everyone? It's Major Tom here. This is the 1K Challenge video number two. This is the second day. It's a Monday. Um, super excited to do this for all of you. And uh, we had a very successful day today. Let's get right into it. Don't want to waste your time. I don't have much time myself. Boom. We had a major market event that happened, the Chinese education stocks. If you don't know about it and you haven't seen the video that, you know, the first video of this series, go back and watch it. There is a market event that happened. Events bring big gains and big losses. So, you know, these events are what you want to trade around. All right, these events happen all the time, like COVID. It was, you had recovery stocks. It was an event. Recovery stocks, like American Airlines, did like 50% gains, you know, coming back up from the recovery. This is the same thing. This is an event, okay? So basically, if you don't know, like, the premise of it, China has basically said that some of these education stocks have to become nonprofit. That doesn't mean that they can't, you know, that they're going to bankrupt. It just means that they can't turn a profit from, you know, the income that they make. They just have to reinvest it in the company. That's not really an issue because companies like Tao, for some reason, lost like 75% of their total value when mainstream media came out with this. Now, um, you know, if our math is correct, when Tao was trading at $5.30, they were trading at negative 1.95 billion of its enterprise value. Does that make sense to any of you? It doesn't make sense to me. So this is like super undervalued. Um, today, we got a buy signal right here at 4 450. I actually didn't buy here and I waited for the uh, the next candle and it, it, it printed 420 part, partially because I was busy at work. So I just bought in at 420 also because I was following Reddit. I was following Twitter. I know that retail was behind this stock and they knew what was going on. All right. Retail loves that number, loves crazy meme numbers. And we entered with $100. We weren't sure if it was going to go to three. So we just entered with 100 and sure enough, boom, the trading algorithm provided huge gains. Uh, we took profits before it printed a sell order, um, basically because, you know, if you're up 40% in 10 minutes, you just take profits. It's what you do. So, you know, it peaked at $6.20. We exited at like five seventy-five. dollars We, you know, we took the 40% profit and we ran. We used our second day trader warning. This company has 35,000 employees. What are they going to do? Go bankrupt? I doubt it. And a volume of around, uh, value is around $9 per share. You know, it, like I said, no brainer. It was trading at like $70 per share just a few months ago. It makes no sense. Uh, shout out to GMA Carlos in the Discord. Um, thank you for watching my video on Friday. I even put the buy signal out there to anyone that was on the, the Discord chat. And, um, you know, that just goes to show like, all you have to do is be a viewer. I'm not charging you anything. I, I didn't say buy this stock. I just said, hey, on Friday, you should you should add this to your watch list. And I gave you, uh, you know, an, a free indicator that's supposed to help you get better price execution. I didn't tell you to buy. I didn't tell you to sell. This isn't market manipulation. Do your own DD. All right, going right into the next one. So on Friday, you saw me buy Intel. Intel, blue chip company here. Um, they crushed earnings, went from $58 to $52. That's the backstory of the play. So, of course, we hopped in at $52 on Friday, and boom, today we print. We have a sell indicator right here from the International Investing uh, Discord's trading algorithm, and boom, we took, our, we took our profit. That's how we go. All right, Tesla entry in the pre-earnings. So, if you didn't know, Tesla's earnings statement was actually like after market hours today. So... We got this nice little entry right here at like six, I want to say 655, like 50 or 655, 60, something like that. And um, Tesla just like took off after this because they beat earnings. I said in Discord, I highly doubt Tesla doesn't beat earnings. EV car companies are killing it right now. We have the increased like EV demand coming from the China 2026 legislation. EV companies will do well over time. And Tesla is one of the biggest players in the game. So, you know, you have to watch out for these earnings. I don't know why people are so bearish with Tesla puts. Even, uh, you know, Michael Burry was putting puts on Tesla and you still can't stop this company because with all the EV demand coming out, you know, and they're beating earnings after earnings after earnings and after earnings. And I get it, you know, they're, they're a long collateral for some, some famous hedge funds. I won't name any names, but, you know, when you see an earnings event that, that happens like this and you get a perfect buy indicator, you know, it's hard not to throw $100 of partial shares into it. So that we're running that into tomorrow. We'll see how it does. Up close to a $58, you know, gain in two trading days. And all entries are done with the algorithm that I sent out to everyone. The end of the day, you know, 
TAL printed a buy signal at $4.50. I entered a September 17th call contract. I was not sure if I was going to do derivatives with this challenge or not, but, you know, just to kind of show off, like, my other, um, you know, my other stock prowess and my other cryptocurrency. I didn't get a chance to play cryptocurrency yet. I was a little upset about that. This weekend didn't really show crypto dips. It only showed gains. So for all you crypto people, you know, you had a great weekend. And I see crypto dips starting to come in before Tuesday. And I'm, I'm starting to think that Tuesday is probably going to be a red day because of that. So just know that meme stocks do well on red days. And um, this is the, uh, the, call, the call option that I got into. But please don't do derivatives if you don't know what you're doing. All right, tomorrow's looks. Like I said, meme stocks typically run on negative beta. So if we have a red market day, I can already see meme stocks doing well. Um, I see crypto pulling back before the market, which usually indicates like a red market day. Um, the account is still $250 into meta materials, and we're looking to scalp up some non-meme stocks tomorrow when they pull back. Uh, we cashed out on GNUS for a small profit to free up some buying power for tomorrow. Also, uh, TAL printed a buy signal, like I said. So here are some of my favorite like twi tweets that I saw on Twitter. I'm just going to move my camera out of the way here. Check this out. We got working with health. Companies seeing the largest increase in social activity. Tal, number two. EDU is another Chinese education stock. Tal is number two. All right. Tal leaps. This guy explains my derivative play perfectly. If there's even a tiny chance that this formerly 50 billion market cap company makes a comeback, it's ridiculously cheap right now. I should say all that should that just sums up the entire play in like one sentence. Um, stock market stock market news: most discussed stocks on Wall Street bets over the last 24 hours. Boom, Tao number six. It's most discussed on Twitter. It's most it's very discussed on Wall Street bets, and you know like like drowsy investor here is saying on Twitter, you know what's what's the, the inherent financial risk on you know betting that this go like you know recovers a little bit within the next two months it's not like i'm saying it's going to recover by friday i'm saying that like within two months i don't see this company going to zero there's no way they have thirty five thousand employees and you know could they go lower i think maybe the floor is three maybe i mean even that's like reaching that's reaching so you know, if it goes to three, no worries. We're holding. We have a long call. If it goes to six, we're up a couple hundred bucks. So, and the call costs like 200 bucks to get into. So it made sense. All right. Um, again, do not trade derivatives if you do not know how. I'm sorry, but I'm coming out with a video on how to trade derivatives. I don't want to advise people to trade derivatives because it's very risky if you don't know what you're doing. With that being said, this is video two of the series. Thanks for tuning in. You already know what I'm looking for tomorrow. And, uh, you know, join the International Investing Discord. You can see the alerts when I put them out. Like, hey, there's a buy indicator here. I don't know. It might be helpful. Again, shout out to GMA Carlos for making 37% today. And, by the way, GMA Carlos didn't even catch the peak. Food for thought. All right, everyone. Take care. And, as always, Major Tom signing out.